guys and welcome back to another 1700 scale build video um, when I was uh, <coughs> pulling out the the Bogue, the Tamiya Bogue <coughs> that I made up as Block Island so being in the zone for uh, this scale of ship at present I decided that I would uh, build this one as well as you can see this is uh, the German battle cruiser I, I call this noise now I've heard it pronounced in various different ways so hopefully one of my German friends will be able to tell me whether that pronunciation is correct. Uh, from Tamiya again, 1700th and um, this um, class of uh, battle cruiser, the German battle cruiser, is one of my favourites. I've mentioned before the cruisers are my um, <coughs> favourite type of ship and the um, the Admiral Hipper class, uh, the Sharnos and Noise now. Um, I've also included Hood in that as well. Uh, you know, those types of ships I just thought were such elegant designs. Um, and uh, I like them very much. So we'll have a look at the box contents. This will be another um, complete video where I show the contents and then progress on the build and then the completed build at the end of it. So let's have a look at the uh, contents now. So here we have the uh, the hull. Obviously this is one of the um, waterline series so you don't get the lower hull um, on these builds. Here is the uh, base of the ship and that uh, slot there will be where you put the metal plate to give uh, some weight to the, uh, to the build. Here's the um, metal plate I mentioned that uh, Tamiya provides you with. As I say, you just um, you just super glue that into the uh, the black base. Mm. So this is sprue B, and as you can see, you've got the uh, funnel there. Um, I think that's the radar domes, top of the um, bridge. You got the main guns there with one turret. Um, I think she carried. 9 11 inch guns got the secondary guns there i think they were 5.7 sorry those aren't the secondary those are anti-aircraft down here is the secondary which is the 5.7 inch guns more anti-aircraft up there next sprue is um you got the bow deck Interestingly, you've got the um, swastika um, design within the deck there. You got the, I think they're Arados, two Arado seaplanes, and then this is part of the uh, the bridge superstructure. And some crane sections, some single, but I assume those are single secondaries at the top there. And this is the last sprue, um, some delicate masts. Some more of the bridge superstructure, two more of the uh, main turrets. Secondaries again there and some more superstructure Nice nameplate here Pretty cool Here's the instructions Just one sheet of paper that's folded over several times the instructions you've got your colour call outs for this particular ship and you've also got some history of the noise now as well so apparently this kit represents noise now after a refit um, 
the end of 1938-19 and the beginning of 1939 so maybe just prior to the outbreak of World War II so there you go guys that's just a, a quick look through the kit before I started the next time you see this hopefully there will be some progress done and so I'll um, see you in a bit okay guys so as you can see quite a bit of progress on the noise now um, it's been about I think four days um, spending evenings um, working on this I've tried to do it in um, sections so that I can remove bits ready to to paint the various parts um, and you know not have anything really obstruct the brush when I paint these uh, it all comes off even the guns aren't um, stuck on either so any issues with the kit so far not really um, just a reminder to anybody who is thinking of building this or has it on their bench and hopefully hasn't started yet um, you have to drill two holes here in the deck I got an idea the reason for that is that the Scharnhorst um, wouldn't have they didn't have anti-aircraft at those two points the other thing with this kit and I'll just tilt it slightly and zoom in you see that the stern section uh, you have to fit that on again whether there was something different with the Scharnhorst I don't know but there's um, a seam there that I've got to fill in and what I'm going to do for the first time ever is I'm going to try and use some um, sprue goo I've uh, made some up having watched some videos on YouTube and uh, as I say I'm going to try and fill that with sprue goo and um, sand it off and see how it goes so <clears throat> so the next time you see this ship it will have uh, it, some paint on it I'm hoping because I feel I'm at the stage where I need to primer it and uh, as I say get some paint on on the build so I'll catch you in a bit so here is the completed noise now uh, really chuffed to have this in my 1700 fleet um, no issues apart from I've lost a crane uh, one of the main cranes I put it somewhere to dry and basically forgot it was there with the other one put my headphones down then when I went back to pick my headphones up and, and collect the crane I um, couldn't find it so I can only find the one so I don't know where it is uh, I've hunted like high and low for the carpet monster or the cupboard monster or whatever they in the way so I'll have to try and fit it at some later date um, I did fill in the swastika that was on the bow of the ship some people may not be too happy about that but you know it was a historical fact that it was on there so I'm not particularly promoting it it's just something of history nothing to report about building this really it was a Tamiya kit so no real issues with it going together at all I'll just uh, turn it so we can see from a different direction so here she is looking from the stern um, you remember I did uh, I said I was going to use the um, sprue goo on the stern well it worked wonderfully it really did two reasons for that obviously it's uh, made up of um, similar plastic so that just worked well the other thing is when sanding it I hadn't got any detail that I would lose um, so there was no raised detail around it or anything like that so I could sand to my heart's content and it just just sanded down beautifully um, so really chuffed with that and it's something I will be using again in the future um, there may be limits to it uh, we will have to see <clears throat> so the paints used on this were um, in the main Vallejo the hull is in blue grey pale Vallejo 905 the deck is in Iraqi sand again which is 819 and then the superstructure was in um, the, the light grey which is 900 I did use a dark grey on the top surfaces of the superstructure if you're looking down on the ship but um, unfortunately I've forgotten which one I used there 
the swastika was done with uh, Vallejo's off-white uh, Abaddon black for the the cross itself um, a fist on red for the flag if you like backing and then Abaddon black again for the top of the funnel the arrows um, were painted up using um, Vallejo's extra dark green and Luftwaffe green. So that's it, that's an, an, as I say another one for the shelf and another one for the fleet. Thanks ever so much for watching, I hope all your builds are going well and that you're having a good start to your week and I'll catch up with you soon.